Hey guys, so I'm back and today we have a brand new puzzle haul. But this time it's thrifted. And if you wanna ask me where I got it from, it's from Facebook Marketplace. So I got about four puzzles. You can hear that. And um, I ordered it on Facebook Marketplace. So normally I like to do like porch pickups if I'm doing Facebook Marketplace or somebody around the town that I live in. But this person lived all the way in Kentucky. So um, I do not live in Kentucky, so they had to ship it to me. So um, I have not opened it or <laughs> checked that I got the puzzles that I ordered. So you guys are gonna come on that journey with me. So I got my trusty scissors and I am an adult, so I don't need adult supervision. Or maybe I do. That'd be so embarrassing if I like mess something up while I'm like trying to be like doing my YouTube thing. Wouldn't it also be funny if like I open this up and instead of putting the four puzzles in their respective boxes, it's just like all mixed together, like all the pieces. And then I have to figure out like which pieces go to which puzzle. Now that's a puzzle. That's, that's gonna take some time. And in order to like figure it out, you have to do all the puzzles. Kinda sounds like a nightmare. I don't know why I came up with that. Ooh, ooh. I'm not sure why I'm ooing and aahing. I picked out these puzzles, so I should know what they look like. But the first one I got, it's a seashell puzzle. So I'm staying on the nature theme. And let's see, let's open it up. Oh, it does come with a fold out. We love these, it's a little bent, but that's what you can expect when you're thrifting puzzles, okay? It's okay. Um, pieces are, you know, they're there. Um, the thing about thrifted puzzles is you don't know if all the pieces are there until you do the puzzle. However, however, I will say one time I bought a puzzle from a certain retailer and this was during like quarantine. So everybody was buying jigsaw puzzles. Um, and I was lucky enough to find one online with this major retailer and I ordered it. And when I got it, I was doing it and I noticed there were several, not only duplicate pieces, but there weren't all the pieces there. So I sent it back and just got a refund from it. All that to say, sometimes it's not always perfect when you buy from big box stores as well. Um, but I don't know. From a eyeball standpoint, yeah, this looks like it's all there. So that's puzzle number one, the seashells. Oops, is that the right way? And it's a thousand piece puzzle. Um, I do wanna start doing more 500 piece puzzles, so that's probably gonna be my next video if you guys like and subscribe. I've been really liking the 500 piece puzzle life. Ooh, foil puzzle. I did not know that. I don't know what that means. It's a thousand piece foil puzzle, puzzle and it's like colored, but they're like pencils. They're not colored pencils. That's what I thought when I, when I ordered it, I called it the colored pencils. Now I'm kind of embarrassed because they're just pencils that are colored. Um, so let's look what it looks like. Oh, I see what the foil is. It's from the, the um, edge of the, like where the eraser goes. Oh, whoa, I've never had a puzzle like this before. <gasps> oh, bad move. Sorry, I thought it was still in the bag, which it, it is in a bag. Let's not get it twisted. It's still in a bag, but it's opened. But this is like where the foil looks like. I don't know if you can see it. Neat, it has the paper to share on social which I'm currently doing but this is um this is what I was talking about how it's like in a bag but the bags open and I will say yeah this looks like about a thousand pieces so I think this is a winner here I don't know if I've mentioned this before um, but I did pay five dollars per puzzle 
here. So, I mean, while it says $7.79, I paid $5 for this. Um, yeah, I don't know where they bought that from originally. So this is probably, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they bought this from originally, but I'm excited to, to do this one. Um, if you guys also want to like know if these puzzles have all the pieces, like once I'm finished, I can also do a follow up with that. Um, just to be honest, I probably do about one puzzle a month, so um, you'll have to vote which puzzles you want to see first to verify. Next, I have a popsicle puzzle. This is so pretty. And this brand, Tasty Collection, they have a few, um, like, oh, the Havana Nights, is that? I'm not sure. They, um, they have several beautiful puzzles on the back. So like if anybody has the hookup or I could probably look it up myself, but beautiful. I love citrus. I love the, the macarons, probably pronouncing that wrong. My French teacher is probably rolling her eyes, but it's okay. I did not go on to live in France, so it's okay. But this one, beautiful, also a thousand pieces. So I'm excited to do this one. I know I've said this in the past, but I love, love colors. So. I love like distinct colors, I should say, and like vibrant ones. So this one I think is gonna be really fun to do. It's kind of similar to like the uh, the Lego puzzle I did last time. You want to listen to that? Um, this is a 2000 piece puzzle. I've never done a 2000 piece puzzle before. Um, I'm a little nervous. So any tips on doing a 2000 piece puzzle will be great. Um, there is something that I've been wanting to buy. If any of you have it and think it's worth it, uh, please let me know. But it's like a, it's like a an easel, but for puzzles. Um, or if you have something similar to that, if it's worth it for your puzzles, because you know when you do it on a flat surface, you're like cr cranking your neck to look down. And I do want something that um, is going to be better for the long term. Um, this is my 2,000 piece puzzle. I don't want it to fall. That looks like about 2,000 pieces. What do you guys think? Seems like right there. This one's gonna take me, I feel like, a, a long time to do. Um, but I, I think it's like a, a pretty theme as well. I want, do wanna go back to the popsicle one because I did not open it for you guys. So this is what the popsicle puzzle looks like inside. It looks like it's got a bag, but most of the pieces are out of the bag, um, which is okay. But I'm excited, this one looks fun. So there you have it. That's my thrifted Facebook Marketplace puzzle haul. Um, again, trying to show that you can get puzzles at any price point range. I've bought them for a dollar at local thrift stores. So really, you don't need to spend a lot for puzzles. I spent $20 on all of these puzzles, to have all of these puzzles. So um, I hope you continue your puzzle journey. Please be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and I will give you guys more content. All right. Thanks guys.